<laughs> that was being called a sign of patriotism is being criticized for stifling freedom. Local Tesla Leanne Morihong is live with the colorful bridge of what manners with the controversy. Yeah. Yeah, this rainbow bridge between Fort Lauderdale and Will Manors is always dressed for Pride Month, but something you won't see in Pride colors this summer are FDOT controlled bridges. FDOT putting forth this order essentially that uh, only will allow bridges to be lit up in red, white, and blue to the exclusion of all other color schemes to include Pride Month rainbows. A month after Governor Ron DeSantis announced the Freedom Summer Initiative, making state parks free this weekend and creating a sales tax holiday for recreational items in July, Florida's Transportation Secretary announced his own initiative while thanking the governor for making Florida the, quote, freest state in the nation. Jared Perdue posted a preview of what Florida state-controlled bridges would look like from Memorial Day to Labor Day, lit up in the colors red, white, and blue, nothing more, nothing less, from May to September. There is a contradiction there. LGBTQ leaders like Todd Del May see the bridge lighting initiative as a strategy to prevent large visual displays of rainbow colors during Pride Month, generally celebrated in June. The rainbow flag has become a symbol of the diverse community. There was an instance a few years ago, I think, with the Jacksonville Bridge. He was very clear about not wanting to show LGBTQ symbols, including the pride flag. Clearly, there's a very pe petty motive here to take away uh, these very obvious symbols of an LGBTQ community that has been under attack. Absolutely, it's intentional, right? And, and it also follows in a, in a succession of attempts to restrict symbolism surrounding the queer community. Through a spokesperson, FDOT says the color scheme was selected to celebrate America, but those we spoke to believed promoting red, white, and blue to the exclusion of all else. It's one of the least free things, right? Um, to be able to say, you can put up colors, but only certain colors. Now, this initiative does nothing to restrict pride flag color schemes on anything privately owned or by individuals. We should also mention there is scrutiny over DeSantis' use of Freedom Summer, which, of course, was a big moment in the civil rights era. We are told that this, of course, restriction of color schemes could also apply to any Juneteenth color schemes on these bridges. Reporting live here in Wilton Manors, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Leanne, thank you.